Hello and welcome back to Shoebox Tech. This is a quick simple video of how to install a hard drive disk. You'll need your serial ATA or SATA data connection cable and of course your hard drive. This is a Seagate Barracuda 4TB with 5400 revs per minute and a 256MB cache. You want to start by taking off your side panels on your left and right side of your case. And what I'm doing here is trying to make sure I have the right connections available. So the 15 pin SATA power connection. These are daisy chained together here. So I've got one, two, and three. Flip it back around to the front. This case comes, comes with a handy caddy and tray that I can just simply pop the hard drive disk into. There is no screws and slide that back into the tray. And now you want to go ahead and connect the serial ATA cable to your motherboard. They are usually located in the bottom right hand corner. This particular motherboard has four. One is already took up for the first drive and now I'm adding the second data cable for the second drive. I fed that through the back. I'm going to connect it to the hard drive disk. What I've realized here is that the cables are joined with the third power connector. So I'm just going to take that out of the first hard drive, move it along to the power connector on the end of the cable and then move down the daisy chain and connect that to the new second hard drive. So they're the both power cables. I'm doing the same with the data cable. I've just moved that down one and I've got the new data cable and I'm going to connect that up to the second drive. So these are interchangeable. They're just the data cables. So as long as you've got them going to your hard drives and going into the motherboard, everything should work fine. A little bit of cable management. Make sure everything's straight. Double check the connections and use a little zip tie there. Just to tidy up the cables. Go ahead and replace the side panel. and power the system up. What you'll realize straight away when you get into Windows is that the drive is not initialized. An important step for Windows to detect the drive and be able to use it, you're going to need to initialize it and format it. So I'll show you this now. It's just an example. If you Google how to initialize hard drive, you'll find this web link and this web page here, which takes you through the steps. But quite simply, what you want to do, go down to the bottom left and type in Discman. And that'll bring up your disk management utility. And you'll see it's already detected the fact that I have a second drive and it's letting me know that it needs to be set up. So just press OK. And now you can see at the bottom in the middle of the page is this new second drive and it's got unallocated space. If I click on this, right click, new simple volume and I'm going to allow Windows to guide me through the, the setup. Just click next, leave everything as default, it's going to allocate the right amount of space. It's going to allocate a drive letter and you can make a custom volume. So I've just left everything as default. I'm going to change the volume label to personal because this is going to be a personal drive for all my personal files. Click next. And you'll see here it's turned blue and it's formatting. And boom, it pops up straight away 
and now Windows has detected this initialized drive and formatted drive ready to use. Thanks for watching.